On the plains of West Texas, cattle have been grazing the rangelands of the historic Matador Ranch for almost 130 years. The Matador Ranch was established in the, in the late 1800s. A group of uh, Scottish investors sent money over to the, to the states with a gentleman by the name of H.H. H. Campbell, and he began to put the ranch together. Our cow base is Hereford Angus Cross, but you'll see in some of our cows a, a, an influence of, of Brangus breeding, which we've used in, in the past. But today, uh, we're using a, a breed that we call Akiushi. There's not many of them in the United States. Matador Ranch is one of the oldest and largest ranches in all of Texas, covering 130,000 acres. Today, the ranch is one of three owned by a subsidiary of Coke Industries. And in Texas, the Matador brand extends into areas beyond cattle, including a hunting program and a deer breeding program featuring superior genetics. To enhance genetics here on the ranch, to really move forward, uh, we've, we've started a breeding program about three years ago, and uh, we have breeding facilities. We breed white-tailed deer. We're taking a lot of the experience the cow side of the operation had with uh, genetics of cattle, things of that nature, and, and looked at the opportunity to move that over into uh, breeding whitetail. The management of the ranch uh, and the stewardship of the ranch, when you combine those and, and you do those correctly, it really creates a, a great habitat for both livestock and wildlife. They actually go hand in hand. This part of Texas doesn't see a lot of rain, and drought is a major issue. Over the years, the staff has taken steps to ensure that the cattle always have access to water, no matter where they are on the operation. We have to be pretty diverse and, and pretty dynamic in our operation to be able to uh, capitalize on the opportunities that Mother Nature gives us. Water management is one of our, our main uh, focus areas here on the ranch. We've, we've developed uh, several miles of pipeline. We've worked closely with the NRCS here locally and developed uh, several miles of pipeline. We, we began that in 1996, and that year we put in 50 miles of pipeline. Since then, we've added about 10 to 15 miles of pipeline a year. Getting water to remote areas allowed the implementation of a rotational grazing program that uses more of the ranch. Through our rotational systems, we've been able to uh, develop a, a way to move cattle into different areas and, and take off old forage and allow for new growth while allowing the previously grazed areas to recoup and, and rest and replenish their nutrient source in their root systems and uh, you know, just build a, a, a greater forage base for the, the ranch overall. Brush control also plays a key role when it comes to improving the long-term health and productivity of the land and water resources. We do a, a number of different brush control methods and that's everything from, from chaining brush to spraying brush and we also use control burns. Not only did it enhance the grazing distribution for cattle, but it also greatly helped our wildlife program as well. Matador Ranch has developed a sustainable approach to rangeland management that mutually benefits the wildlife and the livestock. Team members are always willing to share those techniques and innovations with anyone who's interested. We try to share that story with any number of people to try to help them understand how they can improve as well. At the same time that we have uh, those folks out here, there's a lot of times that they share things with us that, that help us learn as well. We've had a long-standing relation with the CHIP with them, and long-term they've just always been good to work with and do a lot of good conservation work. The people that run this ranch prove every day that they're willing to put in the extra effort for the stewardship of the land. Over the years, the historic Matador Flying V brand has become a symbol of quality cattle and sound ranch management. And the environmental practices the Matador team is implementing today will ensure that legacy continues for many years to come. I hope here at the Matador that, that we can continue to learn and be better stewards of the land to take it to the next level uh, as far as you know, brush control, water systems, erosion, and be more productive.
I think there's some exciting times ahead of us. There's challenging times ahead of us, but I think there's some opportunities that we've yet just to scratch the surface with. We hope that, that the things and the management practices that we have in place will continue to be long-term, that it'll have a long-term beneficial effect for the owners and for those that come after us. Thank you.